All right, so I'm going to do the speed test, climb test to the hill, also some braking test, and just share experience on this bike. Um, later on in the next video, most likely we'll take it off-road. So right now I'm on the track to do the speed test, on throttle only actually. Let's go. And I have 53 uh, watt battery right now, battery, so it's a 17, 18, 19, 20, 23 on the GPS, 22 on display, 25 on GPS, 23 and, or 25 on the display, 28 on GPS, 28, uh, 29 on GPS, 27 and half on display, 28. Okay, um, a little bit discrepancy on display showed 28 miles while on GPS showed 30. Okay, so it made 30 on GPS, 28 on display. What does it mean? It means that the bike actually went 30 miles an hour, at least solid 30 miles an hour, because for some reason I think its diameter of the wheel is incorrectly set. So I would go to settings and change diameter a little bit larger wheels make it so it will be more accurate but based on my GPS very solid 30 miles an hour but actually from all the experience I think it's 32 but 30 it's very solid and it could probably go even faster because display show offload like without load about 38 miles now so uh, if you're lighter than me 215 pounds i am waiting right now and if you're lighter you might go even faster than 30 probably 32 33 so now i'm gonna go with a throttle not throttle i'm gonna do the with pedal assist and as you can see the display if you don't touch it for a little bit it will start to turn off so let's change it so let's go for pedal assist test um, i'm gonna switch to level five actually and uh, drop to gear number seven and see how fast i can pedal it it's 20 on gps 24 on gps 25 display 24 27 28 on 29 30 41 and then I'll break here. Wow, the brakes actually really good. So I made about 31, but I think I could go more because there was not really feeling. Let's go further. There was no feeling like any gas pedaling. Uh, sometimes uh, when you're going on other bicycles with faster speed, you can feel like gas pedaling. So on this bike, 31 miles an hour, and I could probably, if it was a longer road, go much faster, maybe 32, 33 miles an hour, based on GPS. And GPS usually two miles behind. So if I keep 31, I would say 33 usually. So very solid 31 miles for sure. So it's a very powerful and fast bike. And pedaling very comfortably. I'm on gear number four right now. I'm gonna go to the gear number three and try to pedal without any power. But now, let me slow down and we'll go without power. So gear number two. And I didn't actually did any adjustment to the shifting, so I think I need to change to adjust derailleur. And about eight miles an hour, it's not bad. Nine miles an hour now, so it's good. It's um, harder to pedal usually. Well, 10 miles an hour, it's actually very good with these fat tires. And I don't see any much difference than any fat tire bike. So if you ever rode regular fat tire bikes without motor, it should be about the same. Even this bike weight 80, six pounds i believe i waited yeah it was like 86 and it's not bad actually with a uh, almost five inches tires i'm gonna turn on the power 
assist and I did switch settings to the high speed I put like 99 so it means unlimited when it comes it's already set to I believe limited like uh, 25 miles an hour or something so you would need to go settings and change it if you want to you don't have to but because I did the change to the settings the pedal assist speed will be different than uh, normal so that's why I will not test it first second and fourth and fifth speed because it will be much higher usually because I change this speed already but usually they about like interval about seven miles it starts and so on so it all depends how settings you're gonna set it up later and now I'm gonna do the braking test but I already actually did it brake very good but I'll go let's say 25 miles maybe and then I'll brake okay brake now okay so about like 15 uh, meters most likely which is not bad at all and what I'm looking actually not the distance the braking because it will vary every time I, you brake uh, it's all way based on the way you put PSI but I'm looking on the if the brakes can stop the wheel like basically locking in so if you can hear the wheel lock in then the brakes is good so basically some brakes so bad that you can press it and it will never stop the wheel and I believe I'm on the lowest position of the seat right now, which is uh, okay, but I would not say if you're shorter, you would probably need to cut the tube. You would need to trim this uh, seat post a little bit because the, the way it's made, the frame would not allow to lower the seat much low, which is kind of cool for taller people, but if you're shorter, but it's very easy to do with tube cutter it takes only like 30 seconds to cut this tube but the seat is actually really comfortable here suspension it's actually really nice very soft as you can see most likely right now it's really soft and give you really good uh, support like soft you can jump off the curb you will not even feel it it's really good uh, actually I'm impressed uh, it's not really like um, expensive um, F like suspension or anything it's just basic one but it does the job really good so the bike is really solid and well worth the money and the front works really good as well so it's a pretty good setup on this bicycle and I tested actually just recently two different full suspension bikes very similar like major cycle I believe and some other brands and I was not really impressed with them as a quality and the way softness but on this bike I feel like it's really good solid and it's more powerful you can feel the torque and the brakes not just basic uh, hydraulic brakes like most company like uh, set up like brand that one they are still good the stopping power is still good but let's go uphill test the steep and then i'll try to test the brakes as well downhill and see how they do because i feel like this brake should be really good performance they're really thick and have like see-through oil which is great so it's a kind of un like the brand is not as famous most likely i never heard like i heard it from another bike i have uh, on cargo and I like it, but uh, most bicycle uh, like um, in this kind of category does not come like these brakes. Usually, it's like uh, different, like just basic uh, hydraulic brakes, like I would say 180 millimeters, but thinner, uh, without sister oil. And I only saw this uh, type of sister oil on the Expo on some like uh, more expensive bicycle, which is high speed. So they are good, like for high speed. For that's why it's great to have it on this bike. It's very fast for this type of bicycle and also powerful. So you need a good braking system. And now I'm gonna go for another about three miles ride, two and a half about to uphill very steep hill i believe like seven 
uh, great or some it's very steep hill I did testing before many bikes on it so I want to see how fast it'll go uphill on that because some bicycle can't even make it up with this bike you have options to go unlimited speed basically whatever motor allow you and not only that it's not uh, uh, the thumb title not attached to the pedal assist I'll explain you what it, what it means many bicycles right now I know this what they do is that uh, so I attach the throttle it doesn't matter if it's a thumb throttle or a half throttle or full throttle they do attach they do attach um, throttle to pedal assist so if you have pedal assist level one it will only go to the speed of pedal uh, assist one if it's two it will go up to the two so in order to go to the top speed you would have to be on the pedal assist level five with uh, Yota bike it's going all the way up to the top speed so it's very helpful when you uh, need some uh, speed up quickly on throttle only you don't have to change pedal assist level so it's kind of really good I like it not every bike right now comes with this feature and also not every bike allow you to go on top throttle up to the 28 miles an hour many bikes are limited uh, to 20 so you can pedal it to 28 this bike easy get 30 and easily 31 with pedal assist but I think I can go easily 34 miles an hour, 33 with a pedal assist. I just need a longer road to pedal it. I'm very close to the hill right now and it's pretty steep hill. So I'll try to throttle only on the hill. I'll stop and then I'll go from the stop all the way up. It's a pretty long hill. I'm not sure how long it is, but I have many bikes tested over here and not every bike would make it. So I'm gonna stop here and then uh, go and see how steep it will go. How fast it will go actually. It's um, 10, 11, on throttle only 18 miles an hour. I'll go with GPS 15. 12, 10, 9, 8, it's still going 7, so it's going like 7 miles an hour, looks like it's um, pulling but not that much power and uh, maybe just settings need to change but so far it's about six miles on gps it's still pulling up actually i expect much better performance honestly it's still pulling up seven miles an hour i'm going with gps speed because it's more accurate to me uh, at least six miles the motor actually not as loud just normal so i don't think it's uh use a full power most likely the controller make sure it's not overheat because i did have some uh, controller burnout over here so it did made it uphill as you can see it's made it with a speed of six miles an hour which is actually not that fast i would say i expect high much higher i thought it's going to be like 10 miles an hour that's usually what i'm getting with thousand watt motor but that's still good that it's made it uh, most bike would not make it all over here and now I'm gonna do the braking test so I'll just go probably about 30 miles maybe more and see how it will brake it may reach much higher speed but I don't want to own this bike for the first time Twenty-eight miles. So break over here. Run to three. So about twenty mile. I'm um, sorry, twenty meters breaking. Um, very quickly actually. It was thirty miles, almost thirty miles, and it takes about twenty meters to break because it's heavy bike and I'm heavy. But again. 
I'm just looking if it can stop the wheel because that's very important. Most bike with mechanical brakes, sometimes they cannot even lock in the wheel. So basically the wheel still spin, that's a problem. But to measure the length, it's not important because everybody will get different results. So some YouTubers will do measurement, which is pointless because it will affect on the weather different so it's very very really very so the bike performed not bad at all um, since it's a mountain bike uh, i expect to pedal it most of the time in the mountains for workout as well but if you need uh, also the powerful bike it's uh, also as great I like this bike and I like the quality. Everything on the bike is very solid. Uh, starting from the tires, which is almost five inch wide. And the motor is good as well. It's not as loud. But it's pretty powerful and it's fast. And I have the same motor on my other bike, so I am pretty confident in the quality of this motor. Almost 100 miles with no issue so far. And um, the front suspension works very nice. I have the feeling they are hydraulic front fork suspension and spring the rear suspension. So far so good. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.